Okay, continuing with our jQuery uh, tutorials here. Uh, review of last time, we had three elements uh, that were visible, but two of them were grouped together in a div tag and the third in its own div tag. And we set it up so that when you click the div tag down here, it makes the other ones disappear. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to, uh, instead of just make things hide, we're gonna actually going to do uh, the reverse. We're going to make them um, uh, fade in. Uh, I suppose we can make them fade out too. Um, so here we go. We're going to uh, basically change. Let's just use some CSS here uh, in this first div tag. We're going to say um, style. Oops, style. Uh, so this is some CSS here. Uh, and we're going to just say display colon none. So now if I refresh this page, you notice that these elements are currently invisible. So basically it's like they're already hidden at start. Uh, I suppose we could have done that with jQuery as well. Just two different ways of doing it. Um, but here what we're going to do is we already have that uh, we have when our document is ready, we're going to run a function. That function is going to look for the div tag w with the ID. We know it's an ID because it has the pound symbol there. And we're going to say uh, the ID of my2, which is our click me uh, element, is with inside that div tag. When it's clicked, we're going to run another function. That function is going to find the uh, div tag with the ID, because the pound symbol there, of my1. So you can see right there we have the ID of my1. And instead of hide, because it's already hidden, what we're going to do is we're making going to make it visible. So actually, let's just do that first. Uh, if you haven't guessed, uh, the answer would be show, because it's hidden. Now we're going to show it. So if I refresh this and I click the click me, it makes it visible, which is nice. You can make things now invisible or visible. But let's uh, make them fade in nicely. So what we're going to do here is we're going to change this. Uh, instead of show, we're going to say fade capital I in. And we're going to save that, refresh the page. Now when I click click me, you can see it did a slight fade. Instead of just popping there, I'll refresh it. You'll see that it kind of fades in. Does it kind of fast? There are other options you can give in here. You can pass information to the function. The fade in is a function. And we're going to, in this case, uh, we're going to say inside quotations, we're going to pass it a string. We'll pass it the string of slow. So now if we refresh it, we'll click that. And you can see it faded in a little bit slower. Let's say you wanted it to fade in even slower than that, or just have more control over the speed. What we can do is we can pass it um, some information here as far as uh, uh, we'll say 3,000 here. We'll save that. We'll refresh it and we click and it slowly fades in over three seconds. So these are thousandths of a second. So it will take three thousandths. Well, it doesn't take three thousandths of a second if you put, you know, uh, a one in there, it would fade in at one thousandth of a second, which is really, really fast. Here, the delay is three thousandths of a second, which, uh, well, the delay is a thousandth of a second. Here we're saying three thousand. I'm never good at explaining this. I understand it. <laughs> Basically, it's delaying, and each delay is a thousandth of a second, and we're waiting three thousand of those thousandths of a second, making it three seconds. So basically, whatever seconds you want, if you want it in seconds, we can say five seconds by turning this into 5,000. Whoops, not that much, that would take forever. Okay, 5,000, so now we have five seconds of fade in. So I'll click this, and it slow, should slowly, should slowly fade in. Hmm, maybe there is a limit to it. That, that would have been something for Good that uh, good for me to have known before I started doing this. There we go. So three thousand works. Four 
4,000 works. Oops. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what might have happened? Okay, 5,000 works. What might have happened was when I accidentally put in the larger number, I think I saved it then, and then when I changed it to 5,000, I didn't change it. So you can do 5,000. So whatever number of seconds you want it to fade in at, you can, uh, you can do that. So let's, let's actually quickly, since that was kind of the basics of the tutorial, let's look at it some more. I'm going to say in here, I'm going to, uh, just to save time, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So I'll copy and paste this and we'll change this one to the ID of uh, my three and what we'll do up here is we'll add another line within this function and we're going to say dollar sign parentheses so we're looking for an element what elements are we going to look for well in quotations we're going to say pound and uh, mean that we're going to look for a div tag with an ID and we're going to look for the div tag of the ID of my three which is right there so we're talking about this this is going to be hidden at first um, and we're going to fade that in, fade that in at, we'll make that one 5,000, we'll make this one 3,000, and we'll change this to say something different as well. We'll say another element, and we'll get rid of that there. And uh, another thing we can do, we can add a, another line to here. We can hide our, our click me. We'll hide the whole div tag. And we'll do that by saying this. So the element that was clicked, in this case, our div tag with the ID of my2. And we're going to hide that. So I'm going to refresh that. So now when I click it, as you can see, our element, our div tag that has the click me automatically disappears. And then the two other elements fade in at different rates. So we'll refresh it, click me, that disappears. This slowly fades in, and then this slowly fades in a little slower. So definitely within this function, obviously it's a function, you can put multiple things in there. Um, and as you can see, uh, jQuery makes it very simple for you to find elements and do different things with them. Um, let's try changing this to fade out and we'll say at three seconds. I haven't tried this yet so let's hope this works. Let's see. Yep, it's slowly faded out over three seconds. So run it again, instead of just disappearing, it slowly fades out as the others fade in. So uh, that's a quick look at fading elements in and out with jQuery. I hope you're enjoying this series. There should be a link in the description or an annotation, hopefully, that will lead you to the entire playlist. Um, and there'll be more videos coming in the next you know, week or so. Uh, and I hope you're enjoying these. Definitely going to be working on this. And then further down the line, we'll do some jQuery mobile. And then we'll work on making some sort of mobile application for mobile devices as well as desktops because uh, everything will be uh, compatible with pretty much all major browsers. jQuery is supported, uh, does support m the you know, uh, majority of uh, browsers. There are some that some features may or may not work, but that's why you test things in different uh, browsers before you release them. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There should be a link in the description. And uh, once again, subscribe so you don't miss anything. Like this video if you like this topic. And I hope that you have a great day.